Hello, fellow YouTubites. Uh, I've been looking around at a lot of these uh, websites that came across this one. Uh, Tasha's uh, TV channel here. And a lot of the kids seem to be doing um, videos on uh, these, these cyberbullying awareness videos. And you go from there, and I found another channel, uh, another channel uh, called uh, Splash uh, Photos on YouTube about this girl here. I think her name is Ira. I can't pronounce her last name. Who uh, on December 31st of, the, of uh, uh, 2011 committed suicide uh, due to cyberbullying. Uh, if you go back and you see that there's, you'll find people throughout the internet uh, talking about the cyberbullying and suicide and, and so on and so forth. Uh, they do this every once in a while. They, 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 this, the ones I was looking at uh, before this, we were for the ones for Project for Awesome, and they come out once a year and do uh, on December 17th of every year. They come out and do a video uh, uh, supporting their favorite charity. And the thing is, is that while there's a lot of bullying awareness going on on TV and on YouTube and as many places as you can find it in schools and so on and so forth, it hasn't really stopped bullying. Uh, neither, I think it's bullying is, has been going on for a long, long time. It's, bullying isn't anything new. Uh, I think it's, if you go back even to the 1950s, you'll find bullies and bullying uh, was around then. Uh, before then, it was just called uh, being strong-willed in terms of being a bully. Uh, bullying is, in many ways, how it has been, the way people who have privilege over others treat those who they view as beneath them. So a large chunk of the bullies aren't necessarily the ones who you see with you know chains and uh, you know these these uh, goth and so on and so forth. Uh, your primary bully are the cheerleaders, your popular people, uh, some of the kids who maybe you know uh, considered to be the popular. If you look at uh, the TV show like uh, Fairly Odd Parents, uh, they have a fairly standard description. Of what is proper in the order of, of the social rankings, uh, and these are written by people who uh, went through it themselves. Uh, if you watch any cartoon where they show any popular kid, any mean girl, uh, you need to remember that the people who wrote this are significantly, are significantly older, and they're actually writing from their own experiences. So the question is whether or not we can stop bullying, and I really don't think that we can. Uh, it's something that's that's so deeply ingrained in society that I don't think, even if many people wanted to, that they ever would, because uh, most people don't want to give up their privileges in society, and for them, and for many, their privilege is their badge, their honor, their image, and whatever, and they will go to extreme lengths to protect this. So the alternative then is if we don't if we don't want the suicides, then to deal with the suicides directly. Uh, and the be best way to do this is to understand and get people, who, who, kids who are feeling this way, to understand that they're not alone. That, that, that they're kids who have been nerds, who have been geeks. I'm one of the geeks out there. And you can live through this and you can have a, 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 a very good life. There's no... The, the only thing preventing you from having a good life uh, is yourself. And once this is understood no matter what people think of you or how they treat you, then it's easier, not that it's easy, but it's easier to deal with the feelings of being a geek or being a nerd or being an outcast. It doesn't necessarily mean that people are going to like you better. It doesn't mean that people are going to be running to you and, and think, oh, wow, you're so popular now. It just means that you'll have some way to say, you know what? No matter what other people think about me, I'm alright. And I'm happy with being me.
and then leave it at that. If you can get to that point, then that's where you need to start off from. And the thing is to help get people to that point and kids to that point. What I did is I set up a little uh, playlist on my on my channel called Geek Oli, and this is going to be uploaded to there. And I'm going to leave my comments open. You can comment uh, in terms of the video comment. For anyone who feels they're an outcast, any kid who feels they're an outcast, a nerd or geek and they're being bullied, post a video comment to the Geek Oli, to this particular video or, or any of the other videos on there. And just let us know. Let me know what what you're feeling, and I'll come. I'll, you know, I'll I'll respond back. I'll respond back to all the different videos. If you're feeling alone, there's no need to feel alone. There are a lot of people out there. There are a lot of other nerds out there. There are a lot of other geeks out there. That's what the anime cons are. That's what the nerd fighters are. These are all just very di different groups of nerds and geeks and people who have been sort of uh, cast out of society. So there is a beyond the moment for this is for the kids who uh, feel that there is no beyond there is no you know uh, I've been uh, humiliated in school people are making fun of me people are leaving posts uh, and comments on uh, my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel uh, uh, saying what the, the thing I'm getting texts and, and uh, IMs and so on and so forth uh, filled with all this you know this what's called the hater stuff uh, there's a beyond this there is beyond, and it is survivable, if you don't feel necessarily as, as alone, that you feel that you're not the only one there. And so that's what I'm saying, you know, if you know somebody who is feeling like this, if you are feeling like this, post a video, hang out with us, you know, be, be part of the community, even though we don't necessarily talk directly. You know, leave a video, so someone else will respond to that video, I will respond to that video. So that we're loosely hanging out with each other. So, this, instead of doing the process, project for Awesome once a year, uh, I'm going to expand the project for Awesome, hopefully, and get other geeks and nerds to respond to this video. And begin a community where we can start pulling together and dealing with the suicide issue directly. So no longer once a year Project for Awesome. This is Project for Awesome forever. For all three, 365 days of the year Project for Awesome. This is what it is. So pass this around to your friends. Get every geek, nerd, uh, goth, anyone who has felt out like an outcast, get them to see this. If they have a YouTube channel or don't have a YouTube channel, and want to post a comment, have them post a comment. If you know somebody who is feeling left out, who is being, feel that they're being bullied, let them know about us, talk to them, and just sort of let people know about this. If you can post this in your schools, if you can post this uh, anywhere you are that where, where, where kids can see that, where you might think there might be somebody who is feeling like this, post this. It's not going to cost anything. All you have to do is just talk and say hello. Alrighty. Have a good day.